What is going on guys, it's Casual Savage here, in this video I'm going to be doing a review on Mac X Video Converter Pro. Okay, so first of all, I just want to give this company a huge shout out for giving me the software for free, and in addition to that, I asked them to give me a code to give you a giveaway, I was expecting one code, and they've actually given me 10 codes, so there's going to be a 10 code giveaway in this video. More information coming later on. So we'll start with the first tab here, where you can actually convert your video. So you press that, and then you find your video. You can see I've got 11 minute video here. Just to show you that this is actually very good software. We can convert it to stuff for PC, we can do it for music. We can do it for your Apple device like I'm going to do. You can see you got loads of stuff here. You can do it for your Android pad, mobile, Microsoft device and Sony device. So you pretty much covered everything. So you, I'm going to be doing this for my iPod touch. So, And it is a fourth generation. You can see it's the recommended one here so I'm going to use that. So once you've done that just click OK. So after that, you can see all the info here. That's what the output's going to be called. And of course, you can edit the video so you could shorten it. Volume adjust, as you can see, you could subtitle, crop and expand and trim. So once you're done with that, just click done. You can rename your file. So here we go. It's called GTA bloopers, glitches and silly stuff. And the artist is actually what the program's called, so I'll just change it to CS, just for casual savage real quick. Then just click OK. Now, you click Browse, and choose where you want to save it. So I'm gonna, I want it to save right here, in this folder. And then, you've got this stuff here. Choose if you would like to check, check any of them. I'm not going to, though. And you can also preview your video right here. And then, once you're happy with everything, you just click Run. Now, another feature I like about this, you can see here, it says, Shut down your computer when conversion is completed. That's something I actually like, and I'm sure a lot of gamers would like as well, especially Minecraft. Because, obviously, you can have a long videos, you might want to convert them to a better quality. And, this is very good, because you can do it overnight, you can check that and your computer or laptop will turn off after it's done converting so as you can see once it is done it does say all jobs have been completed just click OK and obviously the output folder will open up like that and then you can see the file is converted right here so I did say it was converted just for my iPod Touch 4th generation of course it does play on your PC as well as you can see right now Now obviously the quality is not going to be good on your PC because it is, well, I rendered it for my iPod Touch 4th generation. So right now I'm just going to show you that it actually does go on your device. So there's my iPod connected, just for some proof. So let's go ahead and get the video. You can see it's the same video, MP4. You can see the time, time's there in the bottom right as well. So then simply drag it on to the device. And there you go, you can see it's preparing to update. And it is going very fast. Remember, it is an 11 minute video as well. So it saves into your film section, obviously. And it is done. So there we go, it is done as you can tell. And just one more thing I forgot to mention when you go across your video, you've got the option to snapshot here. But yeah, once you are done everything's done you can just remove the video by clicking this or clicking clear so we'll get on to the next thing which is YouTube where you're able to download YouTube videos instantly and in the best quality and just copy the link and I'm gonna paste it here you can see you can use paste and analyze and it'll analyze straight away of course if you just paste it yourself there then just press analyze right here so as you can see, straight away it comes up with the solutions, well, resolutions, and it is correct because my top resolution is actually 
720p as it is with all my videos so there you go so after that then you can go ahead and rename the clip to what you want so that's what it was called and change the artist name again to CS for casual savage just hit OK and then you can play through it check if everything's good choose where you want to save it again by pressing browse or just type it in if you want after that hit run so now I'm actually downloading the video from YouTube directly to the laptop now notice I have this checked again so once the conversion is complete it's gonna open the output folder so there we go it is completed you can see this comes up again just press OK and the output folder will open up like that and there's the video right here and you can see it's downloaded in 720p and Yeah, we'll get you just gotta watch that video to understand why I've done that. But anyway, you can see it has converted. It's in good quality, just like the one off YouTube. And again, just remove it by resin that or just clear it. So the final feature I have to show you on this is actually a photo slideshow slash video. So you can see here we've got photo, just click that. Now I'm just gonna show you something pretty really quick. This is what this is the photos I'm going to be using for this project you can see there is eight photos here it's of the BMW i8 so let's just go ahead and select it so you can see there it is BMW i8 just select folder and now you can choose what you would like to convert it to again so let's say I'm actually gonna do this with the computer this time just so you can see the good quality so I'm going to say WMV for this, this one right here, and I'll keep it at a normal quality again, just hit OK. Now of course again if you click edit, you can change the order of the photos, you can add photos from different folders if you have it, you can add your own music, and you can change how long it takes for the images to switch. So I'm actually going to make this pretty good, I'm just going to go and add some music. And there you go, it is added. So, what do we do next? Just go ahead and hit close. Now, of course, you can click this settings toggle here, and you can change a bunch of stuff. But, as long as you know what you're doing, change it, but you really don't need to. So, just go ahead and click OK. Now, the final part. Again, rename it to what you want. CS, the artist. And then you choose where you want to save it to. And then finally, just go ahead and click run and I have this option checked once again so once it is completed it will open up there we go less than 30 seconds I think all jobs have been completed okay and there's the video so let's go ahead and check it out let's see what they've done remember I did no transitions or anything they've done all this themselves and it's 23 seconds long one day Simba the sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as the new king I didn't choose the best music for that, it takes about 30 seconds for it to actually get into the beat, but yeah, that's just a little quick edit of it. So then just go ahead and click clear. And you're back from the start. Now let's say you got some problems with the language. Here we go, we go options. And you can see we they actually support quite a lot of languages as you can see here. And there you can choose your default output folder. And if you take snapshots, you can choose the default folder for that as well. And then just go ahead and click done. But yeah, that is it for this software. Mac XHD Video Converter Pro for Windows. You let me know what you think of this, I actually like it a lot. I know my subscribers are gamers, especially PC gamers, so if you want to convert your video, now's your chance, because as I said earlier in the video, they actually gave me 10 free license codes, full license codes, just for you. So let's get into how you enter this competition. Number one, like the video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, comment Hashtag CS Mac XHD.
All them steps will be in the description as well, just in case you couldn't hear me properly. And of course, I've got Facebook and Twitter, so you can message me on that, or you can tweet me saying you've entered, and then I'll know. And yeah, I'm going to be giving you two weeks to enter this competition, so the 12th of August, I'm going to be making a video revealing the 10 winners. Be sure to share this with your friends, and yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Hope you liked the video, please subscribe, rate, and peace.